you, ma'am. How many are left? Sir, four, five. Five are okay. left. Uh, now okay, I request Dr. Just... Sandeep Rathor to present his uh, paper on the topic, A Study of Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning in Retail Marketing. Yes. Okay, so thank you so very much. Good afternoon. Uh, Shaili will be presenting the paper. All the best, yes. Shaili. Thank you, sir. So, very good afternoon to one and all present here. Let us all talk the language of uh, customers. So, give me a minute. I'll share my presentation. So, I'm sharing my screen. Just let me know if it's audible and the screen is also visible. Okay, so artificial intelligence and machine learning for retail markets. So, so your screen is not visible. It's not. Oh, my. I'm sorry. Share, share your screen. Share the screen. Uh, yeah, I think now it should be. Just a second. Is it visible now? No, it's no. not yet visible. Now, now it is visible. It is? Yes. Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience. So, should I start? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Artificial intelligence and machine learning for retail marketing a review. Predicting future isn't magic, it's artificial intelligence by Dave Waters. How does AI and ML help in development of retail marketing is a question for all of us. So now first let us understand what retail is and then retail marketing. Retail means selling of goods to pub in public shops, etc. Retail marketing is the process of buying a product directly to the customers in a retail store or bringing it to a customer in a retail store it helps in planning promotion presentation of a product etc then evolution of retail marketing we all might have heard about the story of uh, this uh, uh, what to say of hog market which was opened in 1874 in kolkata and then we also know about the crossword market in uh, Bombay through which how these retail stores came into India and slowly and steadily how it started taking a leap. Now, impact of uh, COVID on retail sector, it was a match since due to COVID sector, we all were in a huge dilemma and nothing was like on a peak. We all were suffering huge losses. So retail marketing was also, retail sector was also a sector which was also impacted the most in this. But still after a year or so, we again took leap and there are various payment methods and opportunities that help to boost the retail sector. So how did AI help in retail marketing? AI is enabling retail systems to work together, optimize the customer's experiences, forecasting the inventory management and more. AI technologies like computer vision bring new real-time intelligence to brick and mortar stores. That same data when analyzed in cloud can be provided as an additional business insights. Use of MI in the ML in retail marketing. Machine learning also allows retailers to capture the like what exactly they need. Now there's a picture here. So if you want to know what exactly your customer needs or things like that. We all have, we have all visited a supermarket, a super shop. So they get a thing scanned. Okay. Like we scan a product. So through that, they come to know what kind of product is needed more. What is the demand more for? So through these tools and through these technologies, they come to know, okay, these things are needed more to the customers is what it has been conveyed through the slide. Now, as I had rightly said about the payment methods for retail marketing, like earlier, before COVID, we all used to do three modes of payment transfer, which used to be like cash, bank transfer, and check payments. After COVID or during COVID, we started having more type of payment options because we could not visit to people and all that. So we had UPI, we had debit card, credit card, mobile wallets, electronic bank transfer, cash, check payments, UPI and scanner. Now, conclusion. Now we all wonder how is there a marketing or and how is there an employment opportunity in these sectors? Sorry? Hello? Hello? Yeah, please continue. Uh, sorry, sorry. So 
we all wonder how is there an employment opportunity like we all might have heard about reliance shopstop mm-hmm. aditya birla so these companies they need people for these retail sectors and this sector is currently a highly demotivated sector because people think like working in such in such sectors is actually uh, below dignity or things but you don't know the job opportunities that you have in these sectors are quite different you can even work as a store manager a visual merchandiser and various other things but i don't know there is still a question that runs in all of our mind that working in retail sector could be a boon or it can be a disadvantage what are your thoughts on it thank you sir hello sir any questions sir any questions yes ye dr sandeep rathor what is the name of the presenter neetu hello uh, shelly it's a uh, shelly drummer uh, and dr sandeep okay, rathor okay shelly okay okay man shelly shelly okay yeah shelly tell me yeah, you are using ai and ml that is based on where um, it is based on empirical yeah uh, empirical data or something else no actually so this hello? is uh, based on the secondary data and it's a review that has been done through ai and ml tools like how like there's a development in the technology it is not only stick to one thing or the other so because the help of these artificial intelligence and machine learning how is it helping in retail marketing sector is what we would like we uh, i mean it is based on secondary data it is based yes. on secondary data okay yes. correct Yes. Okay. So you got in permission that we go, what is the usage of the AI and machine learning in the digital marketing. Hmm. So how, how what did you find Shaili how how to, what did you find during, during this process? So during this during research the, process what yeah, yeah. During this research process when I had when even I was telling my uh, colleagues or my friends about it that I'm writing on a paper on this oh. topic. Firstly they were okay. actually not that sure ki why is that AI and ML being used in these sectors but if you see wherever you go even if you walk now there's to a local store everywhere you will see there's an advancement in the technology that is being done and they feel that writing on this topic is very below the dignity types or it is not that high fundo type topic what we have chosen but it is actually very important we need to understand the nook and corner and think like why is it important to do it because we are using it in our daily life and practically also we are seeing now if you even go to a normal pani puri wala mm. you will scan and yes. pay you won't pay cash correct, right correct. because of the current covid yes. situation that we have gone through so that is how the technology okay shaili one more question what is the yeah. limitation of your research what is limitation, the limitation of your research yeah limitation what i got was like this topic was not highly recommended and it was very demotivated uh, like it was given as a demotivated factor because of which we could not even take google responses that is what uh, like we were trying to take google responses but we could not because when people heard this topic they were like yaar isme kya bolna hai so that was the biggest limitation or a drawback what i found about this thing but i personally okay. love writing on it i don't know about others okay that's great okay shaili that's very good you are doing um, very good research or uh, uh, any other questions any other question from the other professors and research scholars okay ma'am no wait no go ahead ma'am go for the next one okay shaili no problem uh, if, if the panel could uh, uh, permit can i just add one line please ha ah, okay okay yeah, yeah, yeah sir, sandeep sir, sir. Okay, yeah, yeah please sir. Uh, hello everyone hello sandeep sir members. please Uh, I'm Dr. Sandeep Rathod, working as a student for BBA Garhwale College of Commerce, Autonomous Pune. And Shaili is our student. She had the passion to write papers, and she also uh, presented uh, different papers. And today uh, she was not having off, but she managed to do it from the office. So thank you so much for providing her this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. I'm waiting. Thank you. Deep sir, thank you, Shelly, for joining us. Now I call Chetram sir for presenting his paper on advanced aspect for building a drug-free society. Sir, you can start. 
Yes. He's not